21-6. What a year. It was a year of Overwatch. Overwatch is all we need to talk about. It's a perfect game. Let's talk about it. Please come over here. Please come over here. Understood. I don't think we've gone too far, have we? Yeah. Ah! Oh, behind! Oh, it's Get the healer! Get the healer! Do see the healer? Bye-bye. Finish her off. Oh, no! Oh, I just made it back! <laughs> Who's the monkey? Go the monkey! Go monkey, knock him off the edge! What a spree! Good job! Yeah! No! <laughs> if you haven't played this brilliant online multiplayer competitive game, then I'm jealous. I'm jealous that you've yet to experience Reaper's Death Dance. It's time for Die Dies. Oh, behind! Die Dies! <laughs> or Tracer's Deja Vu. Yeah! Ever get that feeling of Deja Vu? Or McCree's. It's high noon. Dang, high noon. <laughs> Since its official release in March this year, Blizzard have done what they always do, which is polish and tweak and nerf and buff characters to make this perfect game even more perfect. And the memes, the memes that just keep coming out of this game. Such classics as when the enemy thinks they have a chance of winning. Oh, good eyes. <laughs> that is, uh, that is it, dude. Right. And experience tranquility. And it's about 12 o'clock. It's just the game that keeps on giving. There really is something for everyone in Overwatch. And that's no small achievement for this kind of game. <laughs> I've chased the healer all the way back to their spawn. <laughs> now she's dead. <laughs> It's accessibility and deep strategy is what brings new gamers into this frantic field of online competitive multiplayer. He was running those turrets in that little back hallway. They had a bastion, a turret, and a healer just like really working. And everyone who plays this game online has fun. And if you've ever been online before, you'll know that never happens. Hello. Yeah. Oh yeah, what a team. Nice. In Overwatch, it's fun to win and to lose. Oh, that was so brutal. Yeah. Savage. Even with Bastion being a total bastard, it's oh. still fun. I'm in position. I'm in position, Goose. <laughs> Don't hit the player. Hey, Fred. Oh, I can't even oh. get out. <laughs> oh, far out. Come on. Come on. Nice res. <laughs> And as if that wasn't enough, Overwatch has done some great things in eSport. Here to talk about that more is the host of Well Played and professional eSports expert, Rad. Hello. Hi. A oh, Merry Christmas. Isn't it amazing what Overwatch has achieved in the short amount of time? Not only that, but Blizzard continue to invest with the Overwatch League, which seeks well, to pave a nice path to pro good. for anyone looking to make Overwatch their career. Really good. Big monthly check. Cash it. Commit to it. So thousands of screaming fans chanting it over and over and over again. But don't be too hasty on that, because South Korea pretty much already have this game unlocked. Korea managing to zone them out, get the initial kills, but zone them out. Okay, thanks, Fred. Thanks. Go find a tree somewhere. So Overwatch is great. We also did a lot of shooties this year. It's go time! Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was a real win and returned to form for developer Infinity Ward. It's technically impressive and told a solid sci-fi story. Battlefield 1 was a real standout for me. It's a time period that is notoriously difficult to do in games and DICE nailed it. It's difficult to tell stories in World War I for a few reasons, because gameplay-wise, the weapons and technology isn't as interesting on the surface. For example, you can't put a night vision scope on a Lee Enfield rifle. World War II games are much more common. In World War I, there's no clear villain that gamers can understand well, and the developers can build a hero story around. There's no Hitler in a mech suit to shoot rockets at. Watch out, wipe out. <laughs> Coming right for you. I got it. Oh, 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 oh. Also this year, Doom. We got a new Doom game, and it was good. Just pure, old-school fun, but still modern enough to get right on board. Look at this game. Look at how much fun this is.
But you know what? We did a lot of shooting this year. Homefront the Revolution. Titanfall 2. The Division. And oh. uh, time to get out of here, I think. Whoop. No, there's two down there. Oh, no! <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I really enjoy shooters, but this year in particular, I found myself getting sick of the shoot everyone as soon as possible for me. So when Watch Dogs 2 came along and allowed so many non-lethal options, it was really refreshing. And I would love to see more of that because it encourages you to think and play differently in a genre that's starting to feel really tired. Moving on, we had no big Arkham third-person Batman adventure game this year, but it was still a great year to be the bat. Careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Batman the Telltale series let you choose the kind of Batman you wanted to be. You'll never hold a gun steady again. And I found it totally gripping. But the real highlight was Arkham VR and actually being inside Batman. Have you met my dead parents? My oh, friend. <laughs> Virtual reality is the wild west of game development right now. I'm getting pretty good at this battering thing. No one really knows what they're doing. Go! <laughs> I'm not finished with my piano lesson. Take me back. I have, I have to master the chopsticks. And even this Batman game wasn't perfect. Alfred, think quick. This is why you're a butler, Alfred. But it was the first VR game I think everyone should play for its polish and how you interact with the world and how it made you connect with what was going on and what you were doing in it. And also dancing in front of a mirror as Batman was actually a dream that came true for me that I didn't realize was a dream that I wanted to come true for me. Also, it would be weird for me not to mention Dark Souls 3, or as I like to call it, Dark Souls 100% Hits Volume 3. This game really felt like the greatest hits of a Souls experience. Fantastic entry point for new players. But if he turns around, roll, 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 roll. No, no. He's got a white roll. No, roll away. No, I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. And a bit of an all-round tops Souls game. I actually got to the final boss in this game and stopped. I still haven't beaten it. And I don't really know why. I think maybe it's because I don't want it to be over or maybe because then I know I'll have to do it all over again. This year also capped off my 10th year at the ABC and our anniversary episode was a personal life highlight for me. I feel so lucky to have made the show with such fun people for the last 10 years and that you guys have stuck around to watch, so thank you very much. Next year is going to be amazing too. 2017 is going to be huge. At E3 this year, I cried multiple times, even at the God of War trailer. God of War is making me feel things. I... The games were just so emotive, and I think that speaks to the way the games are evolving and changing and how they're connecting with us in new ways. Also next year, we have a whole bunch of new consoles to play with, so it's going to be a great year for frame rates as well. Merry Christmas, Bodger. Thanks, Rad. Thanks. Oh, the joke. What do hedgehogs have for lunch? Prickled onions. <laughs>